Hey guys, this is Hetu and welcome or welcome back to ETLQL Labs. So guys, in this video, we will be looking at five uh, data warehousing interview questions, right? And these questions are pretty much important questions and also a standard question that you might expect in your next interviews, right? And uh, if you are watching first time uh, this video or you are first time visiting on this channel, do consider to subscribe this channel because we put a lot of content or the similar content on the data warehousing testing, ETL testing, database testing, backend testing, etc. Basically, so this is a very, very authentic channel where you get all this unfiltered content uh, on ETL testing, data warehouse testing. All right. And uh, do check out other playlists as well. All right. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification guys. Okay, so you get the next video as soon as I upload them. All right, so let's start then. Uh, the first question is what is difference between OLTP and OLAP system in data warehousing, right? So these are the two different system OLTP and OLAP. I would say OLAP comes pre ETL processing and OLTP comes post ETL processing. This is how basically I see this, right? Now let's look at the official definition differences between this, right? So OLTP stands for online transaction processing. OLAP stands for online analytical processing. All right. And OLTP is basically designed for managing transactional data. Focus on DML operations. When I say DML operations, it's basically insert, update, delete operations generally. Okay. OLTP systems are basically the see the select in intensive or query based inten incentive right because intensive because in OLTP we are actually focusing on the daily operation of the system where you actually do insert update and delete but in OLAP we actually fetch the data we do not do any kind of uh, DML operation rather we just extract the data which means we actually use the select statement more and more okay now OLTP is basically uh, need very very quick processing. Why? Because they are basically uh, uh, they are the business related systems, right? We are actually running the business on this system, so that's why they need to be very very quick. Now, uh, OL OLAP are basically uh, optimized for read heavy operations, right? And complex query because we actually generate lots of reports uh, for, uh, in OLAP. Okay. Now. Uh, they are core business and require high availability basically OLTP system right I'll give you example at the end basically just look at the uh, basically differences here now OLAP uh, they allow multi multi-dimensional analysis of the data as we see here right so a lot of analysis things are happening on the OLAP system now OLTP the last difference is OLTP they are generally normalized and hence require many tables to store the data OLAP are basically denormalized in fact and dimension tables. All right. So uh, OLTP are basically the system. Uh, for example, if I can just give you an example, right? So example, for example, let's say there is a bank and there is a daily operation happening in the bank, deposit, credit, and all those things. Those are basically happening on the OLTP system. Okay. As simple as that. But when you want to generate some kind of report for the analysis of the fire management, we actually generate those reports, sales reports or some kind of uh, profit reports and all those things. Those are happening on the OLAP system basically. Okay. So though they are basically generated out of data warehouse, right? So that's why they are OLAP and they are used for analysis and decision making purpose. All right. Hope this makes sense. Let's go to the next questions guys. Uh, what is the difference between data warehouse and data marts? Okay, so there are two um, two different systems, right? So data warehouse, data warehouse is basically the central repository, which actually aggregates the data from multiple source systems, and these are basically data warehouse is a single data warehouse which is the central repository and contains entire data from the organization level. Okay, data marts, however, is a very very small subset or you can say a smaller set of data from the data warehouse right which basically focuses on a particular department or particular business units right for example if you can see here overall profit of a company if you want to get you basically go and query okay you go and query the data warehouse however if you want to get a profit from the IT loan department 
or maybe loan department from the bank then you actually go to the specific data marts and use that particular specific data mart to get this data basically so as you can see that data warehouse is like a, a kind of a big system now the small 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 systems from each of department wise system will be considered as a data mart right now second difference is used by wide range of people across the organization that's true because this is basically containing the entire company's data right now data mart used by specific business unit for example loan department want to use that data mart which is uh, related to the loan data mart related to the loan loan people right but however the credit card uh, department will not use this particular data mart right so that is the difference right so it's a small set of people okay now company wide reporting is strategic decision because let's say company uh, as a whole right the top management want to see how we can actually strategize our uh, policies and uh, strategy alignment for a better business then they can actually use the data warehouse to get the proper uh, view of it right however if you want to analyze of uh, data for a specific business unit you can go for the data marts basically contains large data set contains a smaller data set here right so these are the differences now the third question what is star schema and how it is different from the snowflake schema right so these are the two popular schema uh, in dimensional modeling in data warehouse guys and uh, this is very simple in diagram if you look at right so a star schema looks like a star shape you see the fact table in the middle and then dimension tables are there surrounded by this right so one two three four dimensions and one fact table they are actually connected to this fact table right so that's if look at the definition this is a type of database schema that consists of central fact table central is middle fact table surrounded by dimension tables the fact tables contains quantitative data for analysis whereas dimension table contains the descriptive data all right so um, uh, we can uh, i mean you can see that right the fact tables basically contains uh, the numerical data okay we will look at the example okay but this is how it is right so and this is the image from the wikipedia that i have actually taken okay now let's look at the uh, snowflake schema here okay snowflake schema this is more complex version of star schema so this is basically extension of the star schema you see this is remains same right this, uh, this structure remains same basically but what is difference is basically again these dimension tables are basically further these dimension tables are further broken into some other tables right and that is how basically uh, they are normalized into multiple tables and that's why they are called the snowflake schema so this dimensions are further normalized are broken into more and more dimension and they become basically snowflake this is the only difference guys okay so you can actually uh, look at this right so this table this dimension table again uh, uh, separate into uh, different tables okay now let's look at the next and now we will see that what is difference between fact and dimension tables in data warehouse we have been looking at this snowflake right and we know that this is fact table this is dimension table now we will look at what exactly fact tables is and what is dimension table okay <clears throat> all right so uh, if i can say the fact tables contains quantitative data not qualitative guys quantitative okay one second i can just uh, uh, okay i will correct it later okay this is basically contains the quantitative data they contains fact means numerical data along with foreign key of the dimension table okay so how this uh, fact and dimension tables are basically if you look at it they are actually connected isn't it so fact tables uh, will be having the foreign key and the primary key from the dimension table basically if i can show you here so let's say i have a sales fact table okay now i have sales id product id customer id quantity not quality quantity total amount all right now if you look at it product id is foreign key customer id is also a foreign key here which we are referring from this particular table here if you see here dimension table basically contains the descriptive information and they provide context to the fact tables data okay now product table that i am actually referring the product id as a foreign key from here it basically coming from the product dimension table okay product dimension table is having some more information like product id product name 
category price supplier id etc etc okay so this is primary key here and this very same primary key as a product key is actually foreign key in my sales table okay sales table and product table they are actually connected with the product id here okay so that is why they are actually taking a shape of kind of a star okay so similarly we have other table for example customer table right customer table customer table will have customer id as a primary key and some other customer name customer address etc as a dimension table basically so that will be part of your customer dimension table right so this is how it is uh, but each of this dimension table contains the descriptive information only if you look at it here it is only descriptive information right this is not giving any quantitative qualitative or uh, like quantitative information like you know the amount column or quantity column and all those things basically okay okay hope this is making sense let's go to the next question what are scds and how do you handle them in data warehouse scds are basically slowly changing dimensions i think we have discussed multiple times before but then for the sake of revision i think i have included this here as well but uh, this is very important that's why i have taken it right so whole idea is basically these are very important questions from data warehousing perspective that's why they are considered here dimension tables right so dimension tables what are basically slowly slowly changing dimension somebody is asking then you can see dimension tables which changes slowly over the period of time rather than changing on a regular basis or fast manner right so that, that's why they are called a slowly changing dimension probably they are changing once in a while right so that's why they are called slowly changing dimension there are something called fast changing dimension also fcd where the data actually keeps changing on very fast manner right but we are talking about slowly changing dimensions and we have got uh, mainly three different types of uh, slowly changing dimensions uh, dimension tables right here and uh, and then last one is basically hybrid one you that can be combination of two or more uh, approaches above basically right so now let's look at this type one type one uh, dimension slowly changing dimension or scds it basically overrides the previous data there is no history preserved it's simply that mistakes correction right so that's why we are using the type one basically simply override without uh, thinking about uh, second thought basically we simply override the previous data that's it second type two type two is basically it contains the full historical data which means we insert for every change record we insert a single row right and here we basically use the uh, to keep the history right we use the start date and end date or the version to maintain the history basically right and uh, yeah so these are used as a column and we actually maintain them as part of uh, end date or start date uh, just to maintain a different different records right now type 3 it stores only current and previous value of the table right so this basically uh, contains the only partial value right so it stores the previous change and current change basically only two instances uh, right How, however type 2 basically stores the entire history type 3 will store only partial history and that to current and previous value of that particular data right and so uh, to store this we actually do not insert multiple rows rather we store uh, we actually create two columns right two different columns um, uh, a new column basically i would say where it will say old and current value basically so new column will be inserted and we will be inserting into that column itself no other rows are inserted in this type 6 is basically combination of any of this type 1 type 2 type 3 or more than two are all of them basically together can make as a type 6 or hybrid basically i would say hybrid is much better to say right so these are the uh, five different questions guys okay we reached to the end of this particular uh, video and i hope that this has uh, given you some good context around this um, data warehousing uh, questionnaires right and i'll come up with uh, come up soon with another set of questions and i hope that this has really uh, made some uh, you know good contribution to your learning okay and uh, uh, i'll see you soon with the next video until then happy learning god bless you bye